you're hearing or not, I will just talk. Since I have bought this uh, new dripper for my training center and my <coughs> future students. So let's do a quick test to see how to make coffee and how to make coffee inside and then uh, yep. It will be just a quick demonstration. I don't know also I don't know what I'm doing. The pour over set you can get a uh, server with a double wall which looks amazing uh, then this unusual dripper which comes like this and uh, actually this is a dozer this is a dozer for the beans and this is a sieve to put the beans in the dripper when time comes and this is, a, this is actually the dripper this is the dripper comes like this interesting okay so as i said uh, this is the first time i'm using it i got uh, two packages of the filters so let's see i don't know i think one is 30 pieces so or one is 15 so total 30 30 filters are coming in this uh, full full set full package it's a fellow fellow stack dripper XF duper. So let's see how it works. It's a manual pour over. So we were using it. We will use it like a, <coughs> I will use it like a V60 Kalita Vigami or whatever. All the filters are really reminding of Kalita filters. Just these ones are a little bit thicker. So let's um, yep. Let's take one out and then let's see. Okay, this is a dripper and filters are going inside. Uh, it's a bit it's a bit tight, huh? Okay, so this is a dozer apparently for the beans. There is a samba also manual uh, how to use the stag except pour over set. So as per manual this is our dozer for the beans. So usually I'm using around 18 grams for the dose for the V60. Since this seems a little bit higher capacity, let me try with 20. Let me try with 20 and then we will compute the ratio and whatever needs to. Okay, beans are grounded. Let's uh, rinse the paper, preheat the server and then re rinse the paper. It's quite unusual, to be honest. It's, uh, it's a bit tall and this is very stable on top. It looks like it can flip any time, but it's not the case. It's pretty much stable. Just uh, just looks like it can, it can flip. Okay. Hmm. The water is going through a little bit slower, so maybe I should go coarser here on the grinder. Okay. I'm already coarse enough. I'm already coarse enough, maybe I'm even more coarser, but let's see. So from this, what I can see inside, I believe coffee bed will be a little bit more deeper. Since it's very tight space inside. This is the dozer for the beans, as I said. So now when I remove the water, we will put the, this piece of metal to dose the beans into the, into the dripper. Hmm, it's really slow. Okay. As I said, the paper it's a uh, it's a little bit thick. You can feel it under the fingers. Definitely thicker than the V60 and Kalita, but not so thick as a Chemex probably. And let's see how it works. So as I said, we will use a <coughs> I will use a 20 grams dose. So. This is for the dosing the beans, which looks pretty much nice and I believe very, very helpful to dose beans directly inside, in the dripper. By the way, this aloe natural from Ready to Rise Roaster is smelling amazingly. In general, I like natural beans but this is something out of this world. Okay, so we have a 20 grams of the beans. 
So I cannot show you now, but it looks pretty much tight. It looks pretty much tight inside. So, yep, as I said, well, I don't see. It's first time, so let's see. Let's see in the which direction this brewing, uh, <coughs> brewing uh, exercise will lead. Because I'm using it first time. It's time for the pouring. Mm -hmm. So let's start the time. Water temperature is 93. So since I was, since my dose is 40 grams, for my blooming I will use uh, between 40 and 60 grams of the water but not more than 2 3 ratio so between 2 and 3 since the shit coffee bed is a bit thicker I will use a stirrer to make sure that all my grounds are properly wetted and not get any dry leftovers for the Proper blooming, okay. We'll leave it here actually, leave it in this paper. Okay, after 45 seconds I can start again. As I said, the gadget is a bit taller, it's a bit unusual to pour over. So I'll start around 170. So Yet it's a bit taller and uh, like a tina, so yeah, a feeling that can flip anytime, but it will not, it's a pretty much stable there. Mm. And for now, it's a very, very amazing experience since it's my first time to mention again. Uh, but let's see, let's see how the brew will finish, which will be the brewing time and um, coffee characteristics, so we will know more about it. So, in general, in the specialty we are using the uh, ratio minimum, as a minimum 1 to 15, as a maximum 1 to 20. I always like to be somewhere in the middle, around 117. So, since my dose is, uh, of the grounded coffee is uh, 20 grams, multiply 17 will give us 340 grams of water. I am on 256 right now, and in uh, maybe 5 seconds I will start uh, my last pour. I have a blooming and 3 additional pours which I'm trying to divide it as uh, precise as possible but in majority I'm never never calculating it precisely ok 340 is there and let's see the brewing time yep since this is done and now <clears throat> this is the dozer for the ground coffee I don't believe that we should put, this, put the dripper inside but again, it seems like a very logical option since it's uh, fitted for it. So I can put it inside and leave it like that. And then if I want to do the next coffee, I just need to clean and dry. I don't know. So we have a coffee here. Silver is amazing, really. It's, um, it looks bigger than it actually, actually is because it has a double wall. So one centimeter down is just nothing. It's a double wall. But still, it, inside big enough I have a so I, I put 340 grams of water and um, on 20 grams of proper dose I extracted 300 ml for sure here between 290 and 300 and still have a lot of space so as I said it's a pretty much unusual it's a tall and I'm still in the quite shock how it looks uh, I would like to try this one I would like to try this one to see the taste and let me leave a sample on the side just to try to check out on the TDS and then after TDS we check out our extraction so it's 134 134 what will 134 do for us? so 134 for us will be so you have as a 1 to 17 ratio, 134 will be, so 135 is here, 1 to 17 ratio is here, 134 is one line down, so we are here. Our extraction 
it's exactly 20.8. Very nice, it's amazing. Also, I would try to maybe go a little bit coarser, but when I see how it's sweet when it's cooled down, maybe I would not change anything. Also, it was three between 330 and 40, I forget already how much. Was exactly? Uh, seems like a bit fine, but the actual grain size is not fine. It's a coarse, very coarse, like a coarser than V60 for sure, which I'm using for V60 coarser. So, uh, yeah, seems to me that uh, we got a we got a good brew, so I don't need to make a new one. I will just drink this one. So let me let me just uh, explain one more time what came with uh, with uh, with the uh, set. So uh, we have a it's called precisely star star SF pour over set coffee dripper plus glass server. I don't even know how to pronounce what they wrote. So box dripper is a little bit cone shaped inside with a flat button. So it, this is also double wall, which I realize now. And then filters are here. Uh, as I said, these filters look a little bit thicker than, for sure, they are thicker than Chemex filter than um, V60 filters. I don't remember now for Kalita. I didn't use long time, but I believe it's thicker than Kalita also. Uh, same shape, just a bit longer, elongated. Brewer is a brewer, full set is, as well. Uh, pretty much going tall, going high. Um, uh, looks unstable, but nothing here is possible to flip, as I can see. So it looks pretty much unique. Design is amazing, unusual but still amazing. Here we have a dozer. We have a dozer. So in the box they are coming together, and this uh, also metal part. So they are coming together and when you want to start your brewing, of course you are separating it, you are dosing your beans here and then transferring into the dripper. So you put this one on the, this metal part on the dripper which has already filtered inside and you dose your ground with coffee, which is also very nice. And uh, you can start your pour over, it's a manual gravity dripper as a, uh, as a category of the dripper, is the manual, manual gravity, taste wise, um, so grind size is a bit coarser than for the V60, for sure. Very juicy, sweet, and uh, full body cup of coffee can, can get out, even on 1 to 17 ratio. I got 134 PDS, so it's everything just not uh, just not light. It's a pretty much very 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 very, very nice uh, coffee, which is extracted from this unusual brewer. So this will be in the offer in the this will be for now in the offer in the Rista Brist Academy uh, Brewing Foundation courses as an option for the manual gravity. Since on the Brewing Foundation we are learning. Manual gravity, automatic gravity, and third one is a student choice. Usually, it's immersion method, most commonly. So, this can be also option as a manual gravity next to origami dripper, next to V60 dripper, Chemex. This can also serve as a option to learn how to learn manual manual gravity dripper. Uh, that's it for me. It was pretty much quick since the first coffee already get get out uh, very delicious. And as I said, I was using the uh, Salvador uh, Natural, El Salvador Natural from the from the Red Rice and Red Rice Roastery. So be sure to try it out. And uh, if you try the beans, give me your feedback also about it. And you can message me anytime regarding the brewer. I would be sure, be happy to share um, any any information that I can possibly share based on what I have done today and what I will do in the future. Price for the full set was uh, 400 euros, which is not too expensive comparing what you got and which quality. The quality is uh, amazing. Quality 
com, of the full set is completely amazing, mind blowing. So, yep, I believe whoever buy it, he will not regret. Yep, thank you. Have a nice day.